non-nested routes in React.js, or more specifically, using TanStack for our React router. But I do think that this concept of non-nested routes is something that can be applicable to your React applications in general, regardless of the router that you're using. But today's video, we're going to cover, and this is from the TanStack docs here. Let me move my browser a little bit here so you can see the path that I'm at. And I'll try to make sure to link these docs here in the description below. But we're going to cover non-nested routes. So what, what is a non-nested route? Well, it's basically a route that doesn't exist within its kind of parent tree. So it's not nested. But for some more clarity on this, I like kind of how TanStack describes these in their docs. So non-nested routes, and we're first going to cover a conceptual overview of what non-nested routes are and how they work in TanStack, but then we'll get into like an actual demonstration video of how these actually work. So non-nested routes can be created by suffixing a parent file route segment with an underscore. So ending your kind of file path with an underscore. And this is TAN stack specific. But non-nested routes are valuable because you don't always want a route to be nested, but instead you need it to break out of the parent's route path and render its own completely different component tree. During path matching, the trailing underscore is ignored. So forward slash post and forward slash post underscore are considered the same path. However, when constructing the component tree, the underscore is used to denote a non-nested route. So forward slash post and forward slash post underscore are considered completely different routes. In our example, route tree above, forward slash post and forward slash post underscore, and then add a dynamic post and forward slash edit, they are siblings, not parent child. And then, you know, they say to make this easier to understand, this would be the component tree that would be rendered at post underscore post ID forward slash edit. And then this would be the component tree that's rendered at post forward slash post ID forward slash nothing, just forward slash post ID. So you can see this post with a post ID is rendered within parent posts here. But this edit here, it's not rendered within posts because it's posts underscore. It's breaking out of its parent tree. And then here it says, notice how the post editor out is considered a sibling of the post route, not a child, and would get matched by specifically before the post route. Likewise, the post editor component's parent is the root route, not the post route. So it is wrapped in the posts component. So if you're anything like me, the first time I saw this, I was like, I, I really don't know what's going on here. So let's start working on like just a demonstration of how this works in code. And I think it'll make much more sense after we actually kind of apply non-nested routes within an actual project. So I'm going to come over here to my TanStack fundamentals project. This is from a previous video, but we're going to go ahead and clone this repo. So we have a good starting place. So under this project here, and I will make sure to link this starter project below. I'm going to click HTTPS here. Well, I'm going to first click code, then HTTPS, and then I'm going to click copy. And then now I'm going to head over to VS Code here, and I'm going to make a new directory that I want this project in. And I'm going to make there, and I'm going to call this non nested hyphen routes. And then I'm going to CD into non oh and i called it non nester but we'll just roll with it so i'm going to cd in there and then i'm going to run git clone and then pasting that url so this is going to clone the repo but now i'm going to go file open and then open this project within vs code so i'm here within my TinStack fundamentals project you should see this if you are seeing like your outer directory Make sure if you click ls, you should see your package.json. If not, you might need to cd 
into the directory that you created, but just make sure that your root directory, if you click ls, you see the package.json because we're then going to need to npm install to install all of our dependencies here. So we've now installed all of our dependencies. And what you're going to see in this project is we just have a roots folder. If you're not familiar with Tainstack and you want to be familiar, I would recommend going and checking out my previous videos to understand what's going on here. But basically we use this roots folder or routes folder to create a bunch of different routes. So we have a posts route, an index route, and so on and so forth. We also need to run TSR watch, which is going to make sure Tanstack watches this routes folder and automatically generates new routes for us if we want them. And then we're also going to run npm start to start our project at localhost 3000. So you should see it start up like this. And we just have this basic page with a couple of different routes. Now to implement non-nested routes, what we are going to do is we're going to delete this posts file here. So post dot dollar sign dot JSX, just get rid of that. So we're going to get rid of that. But now what we're going to do is within our routes folder, let's create a posts dot JSX file. And we'll just keep it at its default here at hello posts. So if we come back, if we go to posts, and I refresh here, we should see hello posts at forward slash posts. All right, so we just created a new route, but now we're going to create an index route. So we're going to do new file within our routes, and this is going to be posts.index.jsx. And this also says hello posts. Let's go ahead and return a outer div, and then let's return an h2 saying, title of my post and then a paragraph that says this is the body of my post and then we'll render that out so both of these should render at forward slash posts but if we come back here and i refresh you're going to see we don't see anything because within posts.jsx i need to make sure to render an outlet component which is basically rendering any kind of child components so for this div here, let's go ahead and I'm going to delete hello posts. Let's do maybe a header and just say posts page. And then below that, let's render out an outlet component. And we are importing that from Tanstack router that you see up here. So now if I come here and I refresh, you see the title post page, but then I also see title of my post, body of my post. Because at forward slash post here, we're rendering post page. And then this outlet component is going to render the children. So it's going to render my post.index.jsx, which is the title of my post and the body of my post. So we have both of those now here. What if I want to, you know, be able to click on a post and not see like a bunch of different posts? So let's come back here and let's say like this for my posts.index.jsx page. This is currently just returning one post, but what if I wanted to do something in which I, I have several posts here, but then when I click on a post, I just look at one post. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. So what we can do is instead of doing this here, Let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to just say function hosts page and then we're going to return a react fragment and then I'm going to just paste this a few times like so. So this is going to represent and I know the formatting is gross here. Let me try to fix this. So this is going to represent a few different posts at our post page. So this would be like post one post two, post three. And then we will render our post page here as our component. So post page. So now if I come back and I refresh, you see I have a few different posts here. But what if I want to be able to like click a link next to a post 
and go see a single post. Well, to do this, we can add a link to these pages. So I'm going to say link and we're going to import that from Tanstack router. And I'm going to say two is equal to, and we're going to create a path at hosts forward slash D to be like a deep view of a post. And then I'm going to just render out the view host. And we'll, we'll put this for every post. You could imagine a world in which, imagine a world, what am I talking about? You could imagine a situation to where all these links would link to a specific post ID to just see each individual post. But for demonstration purposes, this should be just fine. So now we need to create a route, a route at forward slash post forward slash D. So in our routes, let's do hosts dot deep dot jsx to create around at post four slash deep and then we'll just render this out this will be fine this will this it, pretend that this is an individual post that we're going to view so let's come back and now you can see we have view post here so what happens when we click on this well i click on this and we still see my parrot route here, we still see my, my kind of root posts page. Well, what if we, what if we didn't want to see this? What if we didn't want to see this parrot as like, let's pretend, you know, for this root page here, what if this had also like paragraph, these are all of the posts from the website regarding blah. So it had more content on it. And let me refresh. You see, we still have all this parent content here, but what if I just wanted to do a deep view of a single post? I didn't want to really see my parent route here because right now it's still matching my posts as well as forward slash deep here. Well, the way that we can do this is we kind of want this individual post and let's actually... I'm going to copy one of these posts here and just paste it right here so it looks a little bit more like a post. And then I'll have it link back to the post page. So posts page. So now if we come look at it and I see link is not defined, let's actually make sure we import that. But now if I refresh, we see we have an individual post here and it says link back to post page, but we're technically like still see our post page because it's matching forward slash post as well as forward slash D. So we kind of need to break this post out of its parent tree here. So the way that we do this is using these non nested routes. So all we have to do here is for posts.deep.jsx, rename this to posts underscore dot deep. JSX. And then if we come back and I go to localhost and I refresh, you see, I now only see the title of my post as well as this is the body of my post. And then it links back to my post page to where I see post page. These are all my posts. I see all my posts here. I view an individual post. I only see that post. I don't render my top level page. And we come back. And then if I come back and you see if I remove this suffix here and I save and I refresh, we see my post page returns. But since we don't want that, we want to keep it a non nested route. We could just put a suffix underscore behind hosts, telling it to take it out of its post parent refresh. We see now we have a nice deep view of our posts here with non nested routes. So that's kind of a cool little, little kind of advanced routing technique that you can use. And I believe that you can do this in like Next.js as well as React.js as well. But I think, you know, sometimes you see non nested routes and you don't understand like a good use case for them. But hopefully, this example makes it clear of when non nested routes might actually be useful. It might actually be something that you use. And I think seeing a use case and applying it 
makes it a lot easier to kind of wrap your head around things. So hopefully that was clear and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in that next one.